simplified physics welcome to simplified physics this is the fourth lecture on simplified physics and this is the second part of relative velocity in this lecture we will discuss the remaining part of the boat river problem and direction of the rainfall let's begin today's lecture in the first as a first application we have discussed river boat problem and boat to cross the river in along the shortest part now for the se uh, second part of the river boat problem boat to cross the river in the shortest part let us suppose river is flowing from the left to the right side as indicated by the arrow let a be the initial position of the boat now the problem is boat crosses the river in the shortest time and in order to cross the river in the shortest time drill the velocity b2 b2 helps the boat's velocity b1 so b2 um, plays the vital ro role in the motion of the boat along the river in, to cross the um, boat to cross the river in the shortest time the boat should uh, be rowed along av for the shortest part shortest time and the resultant velocity v equal, uh, vector equals to b1 vector plus b2 vector of the resultant velocity of the boat the magnitude of the relative velocity of the boat with respect to the re river is b equals to square root of b1 square plus b2 square where b1 is the magnitude of the b1 uh, vector and b2 is the magnitude of the b2 vector that is the reverse velocity the boat moves across ac with the velocity b that means with magnitude with the magnitude b if theta be the angle made by the velocity vector b relative velocity um, b with a b then ac equals to using the pythagoras theorem simply a b square plus b c square that is a b equals to e s square that is the width of the river and e x is the displacement b c and time to cross the river that is time t equals to ac by p that is the on velocity b equals to displacement by time taken so time to cross the river t equals to ac by b ac equals to square root of x square plus e square just discussed before and b equals to e square root of b1 square plus b2 square once reject in ac available of the ac and b and tan theta equals to b2 1 by b1 equals to e axis and therefore x equals to simply tan theta equals to in a triangle in this triangle tan theta equals to b2 by b1 also in terms of the these distances x by s yes, so x equals to s yes, b2 by b1 now let's see the problem related to this theory a river is flowing from west to east at a speed of 5 meter per minute river is flowing from west to east yeah in what direction should the man uh, on the south bank a person is at the position a on the south bank of the river capable of the swimming at 10 meter per minute in still water should swim to cross the river in the shortest time now river should be crossed in the shortest time now in order to cross the river in the shortest time the river should be crossed with the component uh, velocity b1 along the width of the river from that means from the south to north one has to cross on to cross the river in the shortest time let here be the angle made by the relative velocity b with south north direction then simply time taken to cross the river t equals to displacement by velocity simply basic definition displacement by velocity b1 b1 that is yes by b1 and b1 is the component of the uh, this vector x component of the vector v so it's a b cos theta now the important point is wh what will the shortest time to cross the river that means if cos theta has the maximum possible value yes and b are always remains cos same s yes, is the width of the river and b is the magnitude of the relative velocity always remains uh, same for the given condition and cos theta varies is depends on theta depends on theta that means if cos theta equals to cos theta has maximum value then the time taken will be minimum so cos theta has the ma maximum value 
after cos theta is 1 that means if theta equals to 0 then man can swim and the river in the shortest time that means if the person swims tends to swim along a way then man is able to cross the river in the shortest time man is able to swim the river in the shortest time now the second application of the relative velocity relative velocity of a man with respect to rain let us suppose rain is falling vertically downward and person is running or walking west to east now if the person is standing or simply stationary the velocity of the rain the relative velocity of the rain is along the direction in the administer velocity of the rain itself so the umbrella should be held along gn to save himself from the rain that means the vertical position relative velocity is the vertical position if the person is just standing or stationary now if the person is moving with the velocity bm from west to east man is walking east due east with the velocity bm and rain is falling on vertically downward vr with the velocity vr then in order to determine the relative velocity of the man with respect to the rain what in, in generally we do we impress the negative velocity of the velocity of the rain that means the impress the velocity minus bm just opposite to the velocity bm vector that means just opposite direction of the velocity of the man then the relative velocity is along this direction that is relative velocity along or that means rain will have the velocity b r m and b r m is given by parallelogram law of addition of vector of the relative velocity of the rain so the velocity of the rain b r and b uh, velocity of the minus b m velocity b m this is just applied out. so using the parallelogram law of addition of vectors b r and minus b m simply b r m is magnitude of the relative velocity is b r m equals to square root of b r square plus minus b m square that is obviously positive to b r b m magnitude is always positive plus 90 degree that means angle between the b minus b m and b r 90 degree so generally we get b r m magnitude of the b r m equals to b r square plus b m square so let's suppose theta be the angle made by the angle made by the or that is the relative velocity b r m with the vertical direction that is the direction of the rainfall then we can write tan theta equals to simply tan theta equals to b m by b r so uh, just use the right angle triangle o r g or o r w in triangle right angle triangle o r g tan theta equals to b m by minus b m by b r b m by b i b r in terms of the magnitude then theta equals to simply tan inverse bm by br this gives the direction of the rainfall so in order to protect the, uh, himself from the rain the man should hold his umbrella in the direction of the relative velocity of the rain with respect to man that is along or let's see the problem related to this application rain is falling vertically at the speed of 20 meter per second a person is running in the rain with the speed of the 10 meter per second from the north to south in which direction should he hold his umbrella rain is falling vertically downward along ng with the velocity br br equals to 20 meter per second vertically downward and man is running due south north to south due south with the speed of pm bm equals to 10 meter per second so in order to save uh, from the rain the man should hold his umbrella in the direction of the relative velocity b r m that means relative velocity p r in the direction of a p o r rain is falling in order to protect from that is means b r m equals to b r plus minus b m vector equals to b r minus b m gives the relative velocity o r and the umbrella should be held at an angle theta with the vertical direction 
that means tan theta equals to bm by br simply tan theta equals to tn by 20 simply gives to theta equals to 26.56 degree tan inverse 1 by 2 that is the angle theta that means the angle umbrella should be held at this angle towards the south so an umbrella should be held at an angle 25 by 60 with the vertical dire direction towards the south so in this way we can find the position of the umbrella and this is the end of the lecture thanks for watching